What's up guys, it's Luke here from Team Mambo. Today I have a dinosaur deck profile, a true king dinosaur deck profile to be exact with for you guys. Um, I used to play the build with a pot of extravagance where you can just um, use the extravagance with multiples of the, the extra deck, so that's the calamities and the Thalkas and you can just spam through but there's a few people asking me oh we don't i can't afford extravagances or i i don't have the budget or i i, I just don't have the access to them can you do you have any alternatives and um, i brought this this build to my locals and uh, i think i finished 4-1 and um, the only only loss was to um was to orcas uh, losing the dice roll is kind of important too because you kind of want to get to your calamities as quick as possible also, if you're new to the deck as well, um, you can uh, I'll post combo videos for you, and it's going to be two combo videos at the end of this video, uh, just just showing you some basics of how to use the deck because this might be your first time looking at the profile and you're interested and just thinking, hey, I want to pick up this deck and see how it gets on. But um, yeah, if you want to have a, uh, I, I'm going to show you exactly what the deck consists of. It consists of 42 cards. Uh, 27 monsters, uh, 15 spells. I don't play any hand, any traps in the main deck. Um, this is, again is sort of budget because a lot of people can't afford infinite permanences or they don't have hand traps. So again, this is an alternative. There's not that many cards in this deck that are very, very expensive. But yeah, I'll just go ahead and get into it and show you exactly um, what the deck consists of. So yeah, start off with three monsters. Uh, three over after, best card in the deck. Search is anything. So, uh, so search is any dinosaur from your deck to your hand, and then it pops a other dinosaur to special someone back from the grave as well. So this is the main, this is the heart and soul of the deck. Uh, you have to play three over after, or else you won't be able to do combos. Uh, then we have three miscellaneous stars. So yeah, ever since this card came back to three, uh, you have to play three. This card protects you from the likes of Nibiru. This card protects you from all the hand traps as well. So you can activate over after and then chain this and then you can continue to play and resolve all of your effects. So yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, then three baby Sarasaurus. So this is the main card as well because you're playing Dragonic Diagram. You want to pop this and especially when you're over after from your deck or you want to destroy it with a true king to resolve it and um, it's not once per turn as well so if anybody's interested and uh, I, I don't know what it does it's not once per turn same with this one I have two Tyranodon I only play one of this because it, it would break more if you play anything more than one uh, yeah because I'm not playing that much targets for it one two two big boy two ultra conductor Tyrannus and um, yeah OTK set all your opponent's monsters pretty good and then the bricks. So <laughs> play one Overtex, one Giant Rex, one Megalo Smasher, and one Giorakiolo. Uh, I only play one Overtex now, but um, basically it's just because that anything more than one at the moment I see is kind of bricky. Uh, Rex, again, you kind of still have to play it because it's pretty, it's pretty good for uh, getting Ultimate Conductor out or getting your rank four plays. Megalo Smasher is a War Tree King target, and then Aolo is the Synchro. Uh, yeah, start. does all the synchros ones. So yeah, uh, true kings max out on the true kings. So three fire true kings. And um, this one's probably the strongest one. And then for the back row and just to summon the calamities is the tree water. Yeah, so max out on these. These cards are ridiculous. They're pretty cheap too. So yeah, if you if you have a true king already in your hand with a diagram, um, you're you're pretty much gonna instantly make VFD, so it's yeah. So if you're wondering, by the way, VFD is also true king of all calamities. So I just have a habit of calling true kings. Uh, so yes, Carbonetton. This is for the guard dragon engine because uh, I summoned this the Flamvel guard. Uh, then for Ib, you summon the World Chalice guard dragon, and then the new card. Well, not a new card, but the World Chalice Mardak. This is a. Uh, I, a lot of people don't play this, but I need to play it for an extra rank 9. I don't play the monstrosity, but 
I do play Darkest Mel for Sayuji plays and drawing loads of cards. So yeah, that's all the monster cards. Let's get into spells. Tree Fossil Dig. Uh, Rota for dinosaurs, basically. Level 6 or lower dinosaur. Tree Diagrams. Best field spell probably still in the game. And uh, one Lost World. Lost World is actually some, some niche stuff comes up with Lost World too. And Terraforming again just to get your extra consistency. Then one Double Evolution Pill. This is just... Late game, if you want to try to kill your opponent, uh, destroy over text diagram works too. And then tree, call it a grave. I don't like hand traps, so this is the stop hand traps. It's also good against Orcus going second if you want to try to uh, hit stuff in a grave if they have the bobble up. Uh, one Ovs, one Foolish, one Reborn, and one World Chalice Guard Dragon. Oh, one Legacy Guard Dragon. This is just for the Ape combos, as I was saying beforehand. But yeah, there's 42 cards in the main deck. Um, you wouldn't have to, you can you cut it down to 40 I guess if you wanted to take out the Reborn and the Foolish so we get into the extra deck uh, Calamities of course Montalka Wallagia these are the, the, the main cards you're going to make in the deck one Dweller for like some Orcus and stuff uh, one Gustav Max it's not needed but it's just for the space in the deck so I just thought I'd throw it in one Ether Blatnir again not needed, but it's just an extra Trishula if you want to hit something with your hand. Trishula, of course, the best synchro for this deck. Chambara, uh, the OTK, and then Nat Beast for the VFD combos. And then the last one is Ib. Ib is for the whole Guard Dragon combo. If, as I said, you don't have Extravagance, so you have all this extra deck space so you can just combo off. Lambda, this is used for the Guard Dragon combo to link away. Um, so you can make your your guard dragons, and then the package. So Pisty, Alpi, Heretic Seal, and then Sayuja. Sayuja just over after basically is full Sayuja. It's pretty fun. Um, yeah. So that's that's the full deck, forty two cards, and then fifteen in the main deck. I'll go into the side deck, but um, again, this is just so three Nibiru. Um, yeah, you kind of have to still play Nibiru. Best card in the game at the, right now, at the moment, but for combo decks, anyways. Um, yeah, three mind control. This card is insane. You just use it against Orcus. Just take all our stuff, and yeah, great going second. Three twin because I don't like back row. Who doesn't like? Who likes back row? Uh, three panker tops again. I don't main this. I don't. I used the main one, but uh, in the in my other version, I, I'd main I'd main one. But yeah, and then last one is three evenly matched. Again, I don't like back row. But yeah, this is all optional. I'll just get into the combo videos when we get started. Okay, so this is combo number one. This is the most very basic uh, True King combo to do in the deck. Uh, it's the most straightforward combo and it's probably the most go-to combo in the deck. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys if you're not familiar with it. So you're going to activate your diagram. You're going to destroy your baby Sarasaurus. Uh, what this is going to do is going to add a True King to your hand. Then you're going to want to activate the Baby Sarasaurus, especially someone you're over Raptor. Then you're going to activate his effect to add the Baby Sarasaurus from your deck to your hand. Next up, you're going to normal summon the Baby Sarasaurus. And then what you can do is you can activate um, over Raptor's effect to destroy the Baby Sarasaurus and special summon back a Baby Sarasaurus from your graveyard. This will then trigger a Baby Sarasaurus again to special summon another level 4 or lower from the deck. Yeah, this time you want to special summon a miscellaneous uh, miscellaneous Saris, uh, miscellaneous Saris from your deck. Then you want to activate your True King, destroying both the miscellaneous Saris and the Baby Saris Saris. Baby Saris Saris again will trigger special summoning another miscellaneous Saris from your deck. Then lastly, what you're going to do, you're going to activate your miscellaneous Saris, so banish one, so banish just itself to special summon a level one dinosaur from your deck. This will then prompt the special, the Jirak Edio. And then you're going to Synchro Summon for 9. And once you do that, you can Special Summon your Trishula. And then you can activate the effect. You can then banish a card from your opponent's graveyard, banish a card in the field, and then banish your, a card from the hand. I just ro rolled the dice just randomly anyways. And then lastly, you want to overlay for your Calamities. So what this ends on is it ends on the True King of all Calamities. But most importantly, it also ends on a miscellaneous source with at least four dinosaurs in the grave for next turn. So what you can do is 
you could next turn if your opponent can't do anything you banish four the special summon another over raptor and then you can come up from there you can either destroy another baby with a diagram or you can add a ultimate conductor depending on what your hand is and you can then proceed to otk and um, so yeah this is the first combo that i'd like to show you guys and um, yeah so if you have any questions please let us know in the comments Okay, so this is the second combo. Um, so what this second combo gives you is it also gives you Calamities with just a Lost World and an Overraptor. Uh, I actually had to change something around in this deck. So what I had to do was I had to take out a just any card in the extra deck that was that's not really a main priority. So like an Interblatnir or a Gustav Max, something that wasn't really... Like it doesn't have to be in the side in the extra deck, but it's just something to think about. Uh, so I just took that out and put in a a different um, synchro monster just for the sake of this combo. Um, it's it's not so bad. Uh, I don't think a lot of people know about this one, but I'm just gonna show you exactly how this one works. So you're gonna activate a Lost World, and then normal summon your over after. Uh, go chain link one, chain link two, give the token. Over after effect will send now. So you send your carbonate into the graveyard, then use the effect to destroy the token, but protect it with Lost World, and then send a either Baby Ceratops or Petit Tyrannodon. It doesn't really matter in this situation. Uh, you're gonna special summon the Megalos Smasher, and uh, then you want to use the carbonate to banish to special summon a level one from the deck. This is where the Flam Velgar comes in. And synchro both into a nib. Uh, this is where it gets interesting. So usually what people do is if they want to do the full combo where they want to just go um, add the World Legacy Guard Dragon spell and just do Saryuja combo or do a full Guard Dragon combo. Uh, in this situation you don't do this. So in this situation you're going to activate the effect to add. But instead you're going to add the World Legacy Guard Dragon Mardak to your hand because you can actually search this with the Ib. Um, so yeah, what his effect is, is that all monsters in your opponent's controls lose 500 for each dragon monster you control. So it's really cool if you have a lot of guard dragons with it. But the main effect is you can banish two normal monsters from your hand or graveyard and special summon this card from your hand. So what you're going to do with these two is you're going to sink them both into a Cloud Castle. Um, Cloud Castle is really handy if you have a true king in the graveyard. You can just bring it back. Um, yeah, so then this leaves the two normal monsters in the graveyard for the Mardak to summon. So you banish the Flamville and the Megalo Smasher, summon the Mardak, and then you have two level 9 monsters. Then you can just overlay both of them. Finally, then for your Calamities. So what's good about this is that. This version kind of plays around Valor and Impermanence because what they have to do is they have to um, negate your Overraptor. And a lot of people don't do that because they're like, oh, this person has Miscellaneous Aurus in their hand. I'm not going to negate it. And then once you get this far, you can just make Calamities and then they won't be able to do anything for their turn. Um, there's not really much fallback on this one. I prefer the Diagram over the Lost World. But if you're playing a pure Lost World build and you want to try to squeeze in a Calamities, um, this is the way to do it. So yeah, that's the last combo I'm going to show you guys. Again, if there's any questions, let us know in the comments. Thank you.